Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here, and we are back in the shave den with another shave video. And we're gonna be using a couple of new products today. So I'm finally catching up, and I'm actually gonna give you a kind of a sneak preview of a couple of upcoming videos too. But in today's shave, we are going to, I got a package uh, over the last few weeks from uh, Global Shave Club, and it came with two new razors, and I'm gonna be looking at this razor today, which is the Tsunami, uh, which has a milder version. They, they have a version of the R41. They've made a, a version, and this is a tuned down, little milder version of the actual R41. Heads kind of look a little similar. There's a real R41. Got my hands full here, but uh, this is a milder version. So I'm gonna be using this today for the first time. Also in the packet, some, uh, it's funny. I'm gonna have a bad shave today. No, this is before, after, and during uh, shave oil. And actually I went on YouTube today to see if anybody had uh, reviewed this already. And Mark, uh, one of the other YouTubers, he did about four weeks ago. So when he got his package, he uh, actually uh, went right to it. But as you know, if you've been watching the channel, had a couple of uh, family uh, crisis that uh, were going on, uh, one big family crisis, but we're getting through it now and we're moving forward. All right, so that came from Global Shave Club. And also they give me a, you know, they give me a little history about it, a little bit of uh, background on what it is on the products. The bad, before, after, and during shave oil. Let's see. Took our Swiss shave system and our research chemists develop a single product that delivers all of the same benefits, rich in oils and essential oils. Shave oil is unique and essential product. Sold in 60 milliliter travel friendly bottle. It's around 10 bucks. It's a little bigger bottle than probably the, uh... oh, I'm drawing a blank. The art of shaving. Ah, oh, man, I will just keep forgetting stuff. There is a new brush that I'll be trying today. It's actually in the Crystal Skull. It's a Super Badger. It's from the uh, good folks at uh, DS Cosmetic. And it has a really nice handle. You've got it soaking in here. I actually, uh, now when I get my brushes, I rinse them with a little antibacterial soap, kind of wash them rinse them off, dry them, and, uh, you know, besides COVID-19 or anything, uh, it helps get rid of the uh, wet animal smell kind of quicker. So uh, that, I already did that to this brush this morning when I opened it up, and I uh, have it soaking now. All right, I'm going to be using, where is it? Here we go. I've used this before from uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, the beach it's a, a nice smelling soap, really, really slick. Uh, I enjoy it. I'm going to be using it today. And I was going through a lot of old photographs uh, that my mother had, and I, I found some of my uh, Uncle Ronnie, who uh, lived in England, used to come out here in the, God, in the 70s. He passed away too. And he was a big fan of Adidas. He was uh, into their shoes. And he used to call them Adidas. And I go, no, I think it's Adidas. And he goes, no, it's Adidas. And I said, all right. But uh, when I saw the Adidas Pulse uh, aftershave a while ago, and I, I've, I've used this before in a video, uh, it always reminded me of him. So I'm going to be using this today. This is actually a little bit of a peppermint scent too, which this also is. All right. Preview of coming attractions. I got a, another exclusive coming to you from uh, the folks at Holy Cow. Ka, K-A-W, Holy Cow. It's uh, it's not ready for release yet. I'm not going to try it yet, but uh, they haven't figured out their release date. But it's going to be exclusive to uh, West Coast Shaving, Centropy. Not even taken out of the box yet. Not even sealed broken yet. I'm going to wait till the day of when I do that shave. But uh, 
they're kind of a higher end soap. You're gonna pay a little more for that soap because they're really a skin skin cream, a skin, uh, you know, keeping your skin moist. They're really focusing on skin products. So uh, shaving isn't their primary focus. So they've put their same uh, love and devotion for skincare into their shave soap. So it's more of a premium shave soap. So I'm gonna be looking forward to trying that. Some people might not like this, but there are some of you, my father-in-law is one of them, one of you who takes blood thinners. So if he cuts himself, man, he bleeds. It's just a problem. So he can only use cartridge razors. And you know, you know the ridiculous price of the current cartridge razors. Well, I'm gonna do an upcoming shave with the Gillette Atra side by side with reasonable priced cartridge replacements. One of them from the Rite Aid. I think this is like four bucks for 10 of them. But from Amazon, from Persona, 100 cartridge razor blades, uh, I think 11 bucks shipped. So take away the shipping, you're probably paying about seven bucks for 100. And uh, this I paid for shipping too. So I don't actually know what it is in the store, but uh, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side to see how these generic, cheaper cartridge razors uh, perform. So that's gonna be an upcoming video. So if you, you know, wet shaving, still a shaving channel, guys. So if you're not interested in the cartridge version, but if you want, we'll see how these do. All right, hold on now. Finally, I wanna give a shout out to Lake Drive Designs from Instagram, a uh, good friend, Debbie. She made me a cool mask. So now I don't have to worry. When I go out, it's a little more stylish. So uh, thank you, Debbie, and it's reversible. So I am set now, washable. I'm very happy for that. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and uh, what I won't be reviewing today, but uh, the other the other razor, I believe it's the Wave. It's an open comb. Came from Global Shave Club. We will be doing that on a future date. All right. I think we're ready to start. How have you been? Staying safe, I hope. Oh. I would have wet my face even before I put on the pre-shave oils. All right. Yeah. It smells more menthol than uh, peppermint. You can tell I got some growth on there, and man. If I could give myself my own haircut, I would do it. But uh, you know, there are worse things to complain about than not getting a haircut. So I'll live with it. I can always slick it back. All right, got the shave oil on. Smells good. <laughs> Forgot the blazing. One of my favorite blades today, the uh, Wilkinson Sword Gillette. I did take this razor earlier, took it out of the packaging, uh, washed it antibacterial soap. You know, it sure doesn't hurt. All right, let's put that blade in there. And I'm familiar with this blade. The shave oil doesn't dry on me. All right. Got the blade in there. It's a nice looking handle. Got the taper right here. Okay, I like that. See, the thread is nice and tight, no wobble. I like that. The blade looks even. Very barely any hangover, hangover, overhang. Right there. The gold's kind of nice. My favorite razor. Now it's got a buddy. All right. Let's get some of that beach soap on there. Oh, man. If you want to see a full review on these other products like the beach soap or the Adidas Adidas, you can uh, go back and look at the old videos there. I've put links to all of these 
in the uh, description of this video. You can click right to it. Except the Adidas. I went to their Adidas site and it's only footwear. I don't know where their shaving products come from, but uh, I checked. That's thick soap. I checked and Amazon has it. I think I bought it from Amazon or I bought it from eBay. This is my first post shave with the goatee gone. Perfect. Brush handled it nicely. It's a lather hog, I like that. Is milder than the R41, I can tell by the feel right away. Taking it down. Now, if you watch my last shave when I shaved off the goatee, I cut myself in a few spots. It's been about two or three days. I may open up those wounds again. was going to do the cartridge shave, but that Amazon package did not arrive until a few minutes ago, so I already had this one set up. Razor feels good. I notice I'm holding it right there. I'm just balancing it right here between these two fingers. Got to catch up on the news. I hope we're moving forward with this COVID-19. It would be good to get some of the smaller pleasures in life back. Now, it's getting warm out there today in SoCal. Sun is out. Hopefully, it's getting near the end of the flu season, which hopefully... will be the end of the COVID-19 season. Hey, we can hope, right? Okay, I'm gonna go at an angle up. Maybe I won't. If I do something out of the ordinary, I'm gonna cut myself. This is where I'm notorious for cutting myself. Short, short strokes, guys. Light pressure. Let the razor do the cutting. If I find myself pushing, that's when you end up getting cut. And I think so far, so good. First pass. Now, I'm going to do something a little differently. This is a before, after, or during and after, or after and during. Shea oil. See, I missed some spots, but I'll catch that on the second pickup. I'll put a little more on. More on. I'll put, I'll add a little more. I definitely miss some smell. I can tell right away it's moisturizing the skin. It's making a good... Yeah, no burn. Feels good. All right. Probably need it. To have more water there. This stuff's drying out. That's more like it. That's the way I like it. A 
thick soap. Thought. I fell for it. You guys watch The Mandalorian on the Disney Channel? <laughs> the season two premiere or trailer yesterday came out. So I thought, you end up seeing Baby Yoda smoking. <laughs> uh, I thought it was legit, man. Turned out to be a 420 uh, trailer. It looked legit. I was all jazzed. I like that season or series. You can't binge watch it though because they only release one a week. And I'm done with season one. You know, first when I saw this handle, I didn't think I'd like this uh, design, but it's very balanced. And no, I do not work for Global Shave Club. But I've never seen a company come out with more DE razors every month than, than Global Shave Club. But it's it's kind of cool that they, they're doing it. And I understand they're fat boy. is on the way getting getting they made whatever their goal was their kickstart program is there and uh, that razor will be produced i understand that external parts are made in china internal parts are made in india and it's assembled and built in canada So I'm looking forward to trying that out. You know, that shave oil definitely has left my skin soft. All right, I might as well do it, right? I wasn't gonna do an after shave oil. I'll put a few drops on. It's almost like the serum, you know, the uh, post serum. but it doesn't give me the effect that I hope this is gonna be, which is the burn. There's the burn. And you didn't cut me. All right. Now someone asked, since, you know, I usually cut it at this time, but I've got the, uh, the leftover water there. Flush that. I don't want hairs clogging my sink. Shouldn't have done that. I don't want to that toilet. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this with a little hot water. Rinse this out. Get that blade out of there because if that blade starts rusting in your razor it is never a good thing take the blade out rinse it off i'm going to set that aside because i still can get another shave out of that this is nice i'm going to leave it loose not tighten it up i'm going to let it dry on its side and as far as the brush, yeah, if you leave it like this, it's gonna get crusty. So I pour the water into this bowl when I'm spinning it to get the soap out of there. And then when it goes clear, I'm still spinning it around in here. It's still looking soapy. There. There. Soap's out of it. Now, snap it, shake it like you're snapping a whip. Hang it upside down. 
I have a stand here. Let it dry. All right, somebody had asked for that, so I, I didn't forget. Just hadn't got to that post-shave video yet. I rinse off the soap out of here. Out of the container. Shake it out and then let it dry. I don't seal it wet. I let it dry before I put the lid on it. There. This video is going to run a little longer, gents, but it kind of shows what happened at the post shave. I like it. It's kind of weird being clean shaven again. Feel numb. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you in a couple of new shave videos real soon. And uh, till next time, stay safe. Bye for now.